as the last video I made was awful quality. I mean, look at, I mean, I'll show you a little clip now. I mean, that's awful. The cinematography and the background just looks cluttered. I thought I'd make an effort. This may not happen again, but I thought I'd make a bit of an effort. Also, hold the phone because I bet you're impressed with me that I'm making two videos in a week. I know, that's incredible. I've never done that in my life, I don't think. I think it's impressive. Hello everybody, my name is Ethan Harper and welcome back to Two Senses Media. So today we're going to be talking about originality on YouTube. Now this has been touched on in a few different videos I've seen but I thought I'd have my own personal take on it and yeah, I want to find out what you guys think about it so put it in the comments and let me know and then I can get some advice from you guys because it's always a two way thing. So at this moment in time while I'm recording this, YouTube is changing a lot. Obviously all the algorithm stuff is changing, the way people make money on here is changing, the way um, people, people get noticed is changing, everything's changing for better or worse and we're not going to talk about that today that's for another video entirely one thing that has changed drastically in youtube is that recently there has been a rise in daily vloggers and almost reality tv so for example jake paul logan but jake and logan paul all that all that team 10 rubbish um it's fine if you watch it but i don't like it at all that stuff is basically taking up most of YouTube and people are following suit. What I mean by this is there are a lot of really hyped up um, daily vlogs with a lot of clickbait and things like that. And clickbait's fine. Clickbait is good to an extent because you want people to click in your video. But obviously it can get out of hand when you decide to put things that are not are not actually in the video or are actually true about the video. The reason I bring this up in a video about originality is that a lot of people are now trying to copy that type of thing. And I just thought it was interesting that how quickly something gets popular and then everyone tries to do it and often fail. Which is why I think that originality is probably the most important thing on YouTube. It doesn't matter about what camera you've got, it doesn't matter about I don't know what mics, what lighting you've got, it's about originality. Now personally in the past I've struggled with originality in a few different ways. So I watch a lot of YouTube and I watch a lot of YouTube films and things like that. I love Bertie Gilbert, if you don't know who Bertie Gilbert is, he's a filmmaker on YouTube who does dramatic films and they're short films currently and they're very very good you should totally check him out I also watch kick the PJ he's known for his wild fantastical stories which he tells and really captures your imagination and immerses you in his world and then also I watch more tutorials and things for example DSLR guide who is a youtuber called Simon Cade who I've actually met once um, he's a youtuber called Simon Cade and he does filmmaking tutorials and advice videos about how to make better films not just with the gear and, and things like that it's more about how to tell stories using cinematography editing color grading all the different types of things now because I watch so much of this YouTube I do, I start to obsess over certain youtubers sometimes I focus on the tutorial side of things sometimes I focus on Kick the PJ or Bertie Gilbert or whoever it is and often unfortunately because I love those people so much I want to be like them and I decide I oh, you know what I'm gonna make a film and I don't purposefully think it but often those films are very similar to the styles of each people for example with Kick the PJ I could do a film about mad creatures okay something like that space aliens with loads of colourful lights and things um, which I have been guilty of doing in fact I bought LED light strips because of Kick the PJ um, because at the time I thought that's how you make videos and that's how you get big on YouTube which isn't the case it's just his way of doing it and as I've got older I've sort of developed what I think is my own style I'm still currently developing it there's a, there's a few new short films I'm currently making which are trying to build up my own personal style and way of doing things. 
Now, of course, it's obvious that anyone who watches films and makes films or does whatever with art, they're going to be inspired by the people they love, and that is absolutely fine. It is great to get inspiration from other artists and filmmakers, because otherwise you don't know what makes a good film because you haven't seen others. But I would suggest that you don't always go completely just along with inspiration. You also have to come up with things in your own head that you are personally passionate about. Now what I mean by this, it doesn't have to be like a po political issue or things like that. It's just a moral or something like that that you believe in or that you're very passionate about or has been very, it's very personal to you. Generally that makes the better film. Instead of copying someone else's idea, because that's their passion, that is their thing that they want to do, that is their moral, that is their view on things, it's not yours. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, sorry if I rambled a little bit, I just thought it's the best way of showing it to you by actually talking and sharing my own personal experiences with it. Um, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it, like it, if you want, you don't have to. Subscribe, again you don't have to but I'd really like you to, um, it would be nice, I don't have many subscribers, not that it matters but I quite like some more. So more please, um, comment down below if you agree with this and you struggle with originality, um, yeah, click the bell actually, I need to say that nowadays, you need to click the bell, because apparently that's the thing that you need to do nowadays, um, yeah, I'll see you next time, I've never known how to end YouTube videos.